All right, guys, coming to you from the mighty, mighty Midwest. As you can see, we've had a catastrophic failure here with the Sport Cub S uh, plane that I got for my son. And um, we felt like we did everything right. We uh, read the instructions, watched some videos on YouTube, how to get it going. But as you can see, after the first time out, we got a uh, scuffed wing right there, severe wing damage right there, some slight wing damage right there, and a total failure of the nose. And then if we bring this up, you can actually see that uh, right there the uh, propeller quite messed up, um, especially on this right side, left side we got a little bit of damage there, and there is a structural crack here in the foam, right there, don't know if you can see that from the camera, I can see it now, so yeah, it wasn't a pleasant experience, um, so basically how this crash happened, was um, took it out to a soccer field and one thing I noticed I believe it was the um, left the right portion of the plane right here I think you call those ailerons I'm not sure that was uh, moving on its own um, so I don't know if there was some type of malfunction however uh, we got the engine uh, going and uh, all synced up with the control and uh, just tossed it in the air and what happened was when it took off it inverted literally within what eight seconds and then came down it probably went up about I would say about 12 feet at the highest maybe 10 and uh, crashed nose first into the grass. So, yeah, uh, very disappointing. Um, so if anybody knows what might have happened, let me know. Or if you have any feedback on your experience running one of these planes for the first time. But, yeah, it's kind of dishear disheartening and um, sad at the same time. Over and out from the mighty, mighty Midwest. Yeah, I would have definitely liked to have uh, been playing with this. And no, there was not any wind. No wind at all. Perfect night for flying. Over and out.